Thor here. Ice Cream Sandwich Cove or Sandwich Cove is located approximately in this area, across the lake from State Line Marina. Exact GPS coordinates and water levels are in the description below. Ice Cream Sandwich Cove is an easy to find cove. It offers many great features and several places to land a boat. I chose the back landing next to the Weeping Rocks. There are some minor navigation hazards in this area, so keep that in mind when approaching this cove. Fortunately, they are easy to spot and avoid. I would recommend this cove for new or inexperienced captain as a good first cove. Mooring here was easy but not traditional. I was able to use one natural formation and two sand anchors to secure the boat. Side mooring is not as common as other mooring positions, but in my opinion the best option next to landing. Doing it this way I was able to keep the boat off the beach and keep the bow out without having to secure any water anchors. Overall, this spot and mooring method could easily secure just about any boat, so big, small, and everything in between should work here. Larger boats may need to use one water anchor in addition to the land anchors. Shore conditions here were not great. Mud sand mix was all that I could find and my foot would sink into it about 12 inches or so. The water quality was very good. The sand here was typical Lake Powell powder, but riddled with thorns. Open toe shoes are a must. The only plant life here were these obnoxious tumbleweeds. They are all over the place here. My favorite feature and why I came here was because of the weeping rocks which sounded like a waterfall behind the boat. On the other side of the cove was more weeping rocks which added to the ambient sound of the water droplets. At one spot there was a hole and water was pouring out of it like a small stream, one of the coolest things I've ever seen here at Lake Powell. Hiking here was fun but it was a small area. Any healthy and able adult or child should have no problem moving around the cliffs and rocks in this place. The terrain varied wildly, and some places would have been perfect for a tent to camp in. There were also some amazingly shaped natural rock sculptures here. The cove here was really deep, so cliff jumping would be fun in this place, but it is too cold for me to try that right now. The inside views were also quite nice, however the sunrises and sunset were not visible in this canyon, due to how much shade the canyon walls provided. This place would be nice in the summertime for the shade, and I am certain if the rocks continue to weep there will be a natural cooling effect. Regardless of what direction you choose to set your boat in this location, you can expect a splendid view in every direction. Overall, I really like this place, and one day I hope to come back here. And for anyone wondering, the name of this cove was suggested by a viewer because it was in between the Sand King and Ice Cream Cove. The sandwich or Ice Cream Sandwich just sounded right. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So without taking any more of your time, this is Thor, signing out.